On an April Sunday, 88 first-time players at Augusta National Golf Club teed it up. Chipped it close. And hold it out in the first ever Drive Chip and Putt Championship. Along the way, they received fist bumps from Jordan Speed, handshakes from Bubba Watson, and even a trophy from Adam Scott. What a dream, what an honor, what a privilege to be here for these kids. This is how I started. If I was 10 years old you know, from Seattle, I got to come to Augusta National, you'll never forget it. They've all seen the highlights at the 18th green. And now they walked out there with a chance to make their own. A unique prelude which captured the spirit of the 78th Masters. I feel like really, really, really happy. And all the other, all the, I had a lot of fun today and all the other girls did really, really well. And I'm, I'm really thankful for their, for my friends and family, for their support and, and everything they've done. I shall never forget my first visit to the property, which, which is, is now Augusta, Augusta National. National. When, when I walked, walked out on the grass terrace under, under the big trees behind the house and looked, looked down, down over the, down property. Over the property, the experience, the experience was, was unforgettable. unforgettable. The experience was unforgettable. 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 That's how Bobby Jones first described it. The founder of the Augusta National Golf Club and the Masters Tournament was the author of that eternal perspective. For 80 years, his eloquent words have lived in perfect harmony with some of the most indelible images in the history of the sport. the reward is a green jacket that is everlasting. It seemed that this land had been, had been lying here for years, just, just waiting, 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 waiting for someone to light a golf course upon it. It's unforgettable. It's the Masters. <laughs> Masters week begins with everyone relaxed. Who's this young man? Why aren't you in school today? <laughs> the field is a mix of veterans and newcomers, including Patrick Reed, who was a member of two national championship teams at Augusta State. Who do you think your favorite golfer is? Jason Day. Jason Day's favorite golfer is drive chip and putt champion Leo Chang. Good stuff, man. Thank you. All right, guys, have a good one. On Wednesday, kids again are the star of the show, but this time they're here to watch golf or caddy in the annual par three contest. Mark O'Meara at the second hole. Arnold Palmer at one. Let's Jack Nicholas know that was a three. Thank you very much. Jack holds his own putt. And let's Arnold know that was a two. Ryan Moore at the ninth and final hole. Shot six under par and won the contest. 
Gary player had the final birdie of the day for the big three. They've been a part of the fabric of the Masters for well over a half century. And on Thursday morning, they headed for the first tee. Good morning, everyone. I'm Billy Payne, and welcome to the 78th playing of the Masters. They are the holders of 13 green jackets authors of some of the master's greatest moments. Stars of its highest dramas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Masters has now officially begun. Everybody have fun. 50 years ago, Arnold Palmer won his fourth Masters. He's got a fitting climax. And Arnold Palmer. 40 years ago, Gary Player won the second of his three. Gary Player is leading at 10 under par. Right 30 seven. years ago, Ben Crenshaw hold that amazing putt at the 10. But this is, that's one of the greatest putts I've ever seen. And 10 years ago, Phil Mickelson broke through. Is it his time? Yeah! I jumped so I almost hit lightning that day. <laughs> and they're all back. Mickelson in the first round at the 10th hole. But it's a tough day for the three-time champion. Get up. Who makes two sevens in a round of 76. Defending champion Adam Scott. Playing with U.S. amateur champion Matthew Fitzpatrick. And off to a good start at the first hole. Out in three under par, 33. He's playing his second at 10. And sets up a birdie that gives him the early lead. An ovation at the 12th tee. And then a nine iron. He said it's the first ball he ever put in Ray's Creek. Despite that, he shot 69 and felt relaxed. Having won last year, I think in some ways, has taken a little pressure off me as I teed up today and kind of felt like what was the worst that can happen? I'm still going to be a Masters champion. <laughs> Brant Snedeker, who's made a couple of strong runs at being Masters champion for birdie at 15. Finished one behind Scott with a 70. 50-year-old Miguel Angel Jimenez at the par three sixth. One under par 71 on the day. Two-time champion Bernhard Langer trying to save par at 18. At age 56, he shoots even par 72. Sang Moon Bay with a difficult third shot from over the green at the par 5 15. Holes out for Eagle and also shoots 72. Here are two of the six birdies Bill Haas made as he took the lead with a round of 68. Bubba Watson for Eagle at 13. The 
birdie got him to two under par. And then he took advantage of the next par five. Two putts for a birdie at 15 and a round of 69. Louis Oosthuizen, who lost the playoff to Bubba two years ago, birdied 18 and tied for second place after round one. It's a wide open tournament. Tiger Woods is absent for the first time in 20 years due to back surgery, and the field includes a record 24 first time Masters invitees many of whom are expected to contend. Players like Jonas Blixt from Sweden. He was fourth in last year's PGA Championship and now hits a brilliant shot at 13. In a round of 70. But it's tough for a first year player to win here. If you, you come in here and you've got a strong mind and you believe you can do it, that's the thing that matters. Two more from this outstanding freshman class. Victor Dubuisson at six, Jimmy Walker at 16. A 74 and a 70. Kevin Stadler at 13. Also shot 70. Two more first year players grouped with Rory McElroy. 20-year-old Jordan Spieth is the youngest professional in the field. And ties McElroy with the first round 71. It was exciting. I mean, number one tee shot was really cool. It's, uh, you know, I remember looking down when I stepped back, when I was kind of visualizing what shot I was going to hit and kind of soaked it in a little bit. And that's the only shot I wanted to do that on. Then I needed to, to grind. The only first-year winners in Masters history were Horton Smith in 1934, Gene Sarazen in 1935, and Fuzzy Zeller in 1979. It's Friday. A near-perfect spring morning and a chance to see some of the Masters' legendary players. Two-time champions, Tom Watson at the second hole and Ben Crenshaw at six. It's Crenshaw's 43rd Masters, most with caddy Carl Jackson, and Ben's announced that next year will be their last. It's the first year for Billy Horschel. And with an eagle at two, he'll be around for the weekend. Current U.S. Open champion, Justin Rose, playing his third to the par five eighth. Shoots 70. Denmark's Thomas Bjorn challenges the lead with birdies at 14, 15. And 16, shoots 68 and is tied for third. Bubba Watson heads to the course. When I got here, um, there wasn't any media attention on me, which was great, you know, I, I love that. When Adam was here uh, as defending champ when he, before we started, um, champion's dinner, it's all about him. Uh, it was all about me when I was champion. And so it gets in your head, just you don't focus as much as you need to, or I didn't, I don't know about anybody else, but I didn't. And so I was just kind of here, and so um, now, Going out and practicing my own way, doing my things, and not having too much media attention. I don't think I did. I don't think I did one interview before the start of the tournament. So, um, you know, it's pretty easy that way. He birdies the seventh hole and is tied for the lead. And then comes an amazing second nine. Pars at 10 and 11 were followed by this tee shot at 12. 12, I hit a great shot, somehow two feet, two and a half feet. Made that for birdie. Second at the par five, 13. 13 with the way the wind was going, it was, it's a lot easier hole. It's seven nine in there. Two putted for birdie. Now 14.
That's three in a row. When I made the putt on 14, you know, I gave the wave to the crowd and everything, but I just tried to, you know, no big deal. Let's just go to the next hole. 15 for birdie. Sixteen. Catching the slope and setting up his fifth birdie in a row. I didn't even think about it until after the fact. I was like, wow, I just made five birdies in a row. It's so difficult out there. You're not really thinking about what you've been doing. You know, if you're, you're focused and your head's in the right spot, you're thinking about each shot, you don't have time to think about where you are on the leaderboard or or what tough holes coming up next. You just focus on each shot at a time. Fred Couples has a history of playing well at the Masters, and this year was no exception. For birdie at two. He's 54 years old, and he's playing his 30th Masters, and he's in contention once again. Second shot at three. Sets up another birdie. He shoots 71 and is just five strokes out of the lead. Can I win it? Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm here. You know, and when I come over here tomorrow night, and if I play well, which I haven't the last couple years, um, you know, then I'll answer that question again. But I have to, you know, you, I have to play well tomorrow. Jonas Blixt shows that his first round was no first year fluke. He shoots 71 in his four behind Bubba. But Phil Mickelson's troubles continue. At the 12th hole, he makes his second triple bogey of the tournament. Shoots 73 and misses the cut for the first time since 1997. Rory McIlroy's problems start at the fourth hole. I just got a massive wind switch. You know, I it pitched 30 yards too far, and um, I wish one of the guys on the fifth tee box would have gotten away of it. One of them almost did. The ball flew right behind Adam Scott, and McIlroy made double bogey. Then at 13, a bad break on his second shot. Bouncing off a sprinkler head and into the azaleas. And he was fortunate to make bogey from there. Scott had his own problems. Going out in 39, but fought back starting at the 12th. Yeah. He added birdies at 13, and here at 15. Shot even par and trailed Watson by four. I can only do what I can do, but a lot depends on what he does. If he goes out and has a hot round, it's, it's gonna be uh, his tournament. Fathers and sons are long a part of golf's traditions. I've been coming to the Masters since I was five years old. You know, it's just been a family tradition that I'm able to pass on to my son. Jay Haas played in 22 Masters, but this year he's outside the ropes following his son, Bill. And the first round leader is having a difficult day. A double bogey at 11. A bounce back at 15. But a round of 78, which does not dim a father's pride. We all feel pride. I think all parents do. And it just so happens this is on a pretty big stage here. You know, I know Kevin's uh, playing well and Craig busting at the seams uh, likewise. So it's been, uh, it's been a great week. And as dads and moms around the world can relate, it's uh, something that we'll never forget. For the first time in tournament history, a father and son are playing the same masters. 
Craig Stadler <laughs> won here 32 years ago when Kevin was two years old. Congratulations. Thank you. Played well. Thank you. Very much. And though he has some nice moments on the second nine in this round, he says it's probably his last Masters, and he's looking forward to following Kevin on the weekend. It's Kevin's first Masters, and at one point he's tied for the lead before finishing the day in a tie for 10th. John Senden was two over after four holes today, then played the last 14 in six under par and finished alone in second place, three behind Bubba Watson. There were six amateurs in this Masters field, and the low score among them belonged to 19-year-old Oliver Goss. The U.S. amateur runner-up. The U.S. amateur champion, Matthew Fitzpatrick, needed to save par at 17 to have any chance of making the cut. Now he would need a birdie at 18. Late Friday afternoon of a major championship, and that means the cut line becomes a very big part of this developing story. Fitzpatrick to play the weekend. Same story for Rory McElroy. You're standing over like a you know a four or five footer on the last to make the cut, and um, I guess you're just trying to you know put a good stroke on it and, and hope it goes in the hole. On the cut line at four over par, his fellow competitor, young Jordan Spieth, moved into contention with this second shot at the par five fifteen. setting up a chance for Eagle. Just kisses the left lip and falls in. And a round of 70. It's a great start, um, a start that I'm very, very pleased with would have taken starting the week, no doubt about it. And uh, with this golf course, I'm going to have to, it's going to really test my patience this weekend. And uh, if I can get a couple more numbers, a uh, couple more rounds in the red, then uh, who knows what can happen. A mix of newcomers and champion veterans at the top of the leaderboard after 36 holes. Among the surprises at this Masters, the past champions who played two great rounds and were able to make the cut as big a surprise as the champions and other top contenders who missed it. The day belonged to Bubba Watson. Beginning the tournament with very little attention, he was the center of it now. Every year brings changes to the Masters, some planned, some not. There's a new South Village, a popular destination near the fifth green, featuring upgraded concession facilities and golf shop. This year, an ice storm in February took out the famous Eisenhower tree from the fairway of the 17th hole. It's a tree the former president wanted removed because it seemed to always catch his drives. But we think even Ike would have been sad to see it go. Rory McElroy's tee shot opens the third round. Gary Woodland makes the early headlines. Five under through his first eight holes and is playing his approach to nine. This putt to tie the tournament record a first 9.30, he wound up shooting a three under par 69. Low amateur Oliver Goss is 20 years old today, playing the weekend at the Masters. It's the best birthday present uh, you can ask for. 
Miguel Angel Jimenez did something that only Ben Hogan and Fred Couples had ever done, matching the lowest score ever shot by a senior golfer at the Masters. Jimenez made his last birdie of the day at 16. For a 66, low round of this year's tournament and a tie for fifth place. The next best round came from a player half his age. Ricky Fowler's 15th round at the Masters turned out to be his best ever. A 67 left him tied with Jimenez, but his thoughts were on his good friend Bubba Watson. Bubba's been playing well. It's good to see. Um, you know, I know he loves it here, obviously, uh, having a green jacket already. And I know he'd like to get a second one, but uh, you know, going in tomorrow, I'd definitely like to have a chance to keep him away from that and see if I can get one of my own. Other players have the same thought, including Jordan Spieth warming up for his third round. Yesterday, Justin Rose won a pair of crystal goblets for his eagle at eight. Today, he wins two more for holding out at three. Here's Bubba. He too with just an iron into this par five and two. Oh, and it's a beauty. It's going to curl in here close. And now he leads by four. Adam Scott's chances to defend his Masters title faded at the fourth hole. He almost hold his chip for birdie. But then missed not only his par putt, but his bogey putt as well and posted a first nine score of 40. Bubba Watson had his own problems on the first nine. Making a bogey at four, another at six, and a third here at seven with an approach over the green. At nine, Jonas Blixt had a long putt to tie the lead. John Senden, paired with Watson, was having his own troubles. Three over as he struck his approach to nine. Birdie, but he shoots 75. Matt Kuchar moved within one of the lead. With a birdie at 14, but was over the green and two at 15. You take all your courage, all your skill, if you get this wrong, you're done. Oh, look at that. From Matt Kuchar, that is unbelievable. Could not have hit a better shot if I had 20 more chances at it. So that one, I, I kind of had a laugh at because it just was one of those impossible shots that came out great. And he ties the lead here at 15, Matt Kuchar. Bubba at 10. <laughs> Made the putt and had the outright lead at six under par. Jonas Blixt at 11. Took a dead left kick into the pond. Now playing his fourth shot. That close to a spectacular par. Spieth was having trouble with his tee shots and trailed Watson by three. 
Now at 14. The approach caught the slope. And he made the birdie. This is at 15 to get within one of Watson. Kucher at 18 with a long putt for par. Shot 68 and finished the day tied for third. On the second nine, Watson had short irons into both par fives. But only came away with pars. At 16, a bogey dropped him into a tie with Spieth. And at 18, he needed this putt to play in the final pairing Sunday. I knew that a par going into 18 was going to was going to get me in the final group, and that's where you want to be. You want to know what everybody's doing, and when I come down 18 tomorrow, even if I if I'm playing really good, I'll know what the, all the scores are. Bubba shot 74. First-time players, a 20-year-old from Dallas was tied for the lead. A 29-year-old from Sweden was one stroke back. The most important 18 holes of their lives were one sleepless night away. You know, we're all trying to win the same trophy. We're all trying to do the same thing. So we're all going to be nervous. We all know what it means to our, for our career, for our, um, our, our status to move forward in the game. And so... Um, so it's going to be tough for everybody, not just um, guys that have never won one. You draw on memories of guys that have made the putts on the last hole, you know, and to, from Phil to Tiger to last year with Adam. And you just dream of what it would mean and, uh, you know, how cool it'd be. And all those putts I hit when I was real young with my friends on trying to make it to win the Masters. And, um, you know, I would love the opportunity to, to test it tomorrow. One week ago, 14-year-old Patrick Welch hold the final shot of the first ever Drive Chip and Putt Championship. One week later, a young man just six years older would lead off the final pairing on Masters Sunday. What's your age cutoff for calling people mister? <laughs> Anyone older than me. So you'll call Bob a mister? Yeah, Mr. Watson, for sure. It's just because it'll mess with him. <laughs> He says he's going to call you Mr. Watson. That's fine. When I'm hitting it past him, maybe. <laughs> Separated by 15 years and one green jacket. On the course, the ageless Fred Couples birdies the first two holes. Kevin Stadler at three. Holes out for birdie. Rory McIlroy shot 71, 69 on the weekend and posted his best ever Masters finish, a tie for eighth. Matt Kuchar, third shot at the par five second. Little check and round the corner it comes. Will it stay up? Oh. That close to Eagle. Made birdie and tied the lead. Spieth for birdie at two. Kucher at three. Ties Spieth at six under. Oliver Goss at 18. In a few hours, he'll attend the green jacket ceremony as the low amateur. 
Bubba tried to drive the green at three, but ticked a tree. and kicked into a difficult position from where he made bogey and was two behind. Kuchar with a long putt for birdie at four. Go. Then had this for par. <laughs> then this for bogey. And four putted to drop into a tie with Watson and Blix, two behind Speeth. Bubba on the tee at the 242 yard fourth hole. Beautiful shot. Great shot for Bubba. That's an unbelievable shot. Spieth was bunkered. Will it skip? Yes. Will it skip? Into the hole. Jordan Spieth, the two at the fourth, is now seven under par. He's got this for the half. How about that? Watson answers two twos at the fourth. Then Spieth drove into trouble at five and made bogey. The lead down to one. On to the par three sixth, 191 yards. What do you think? Brilliant. What do you think? I hit a great shot on six. Well, I thought I hit a great shot, but then Jordan hit a lot better. That was huge that I, that I tied him on six um, before he tapped in. Two's at the fourth, two's at the sixth. This is taking this game to a new level, Vern. My gracious. That is fabulous golf. At seven, Bubba was in the right front bunker. That ball looked like it was almost buried. And he tried to do what he has to do from a buried line, just use gravity. Absolutely marvelous by Bubba Watson. Marvelous. He saved par. Speed for birdie. You can't be a great putter if you're not a great green reader, and that was incredible. Got off to a dream start for Sunday at Augusta. It's just so hard to, to play the first seven holes, I would say, well out here. And I was three under through the first seven. So if you told me that when I woke up this morning, I would have thought, you know, it'd be difficult for me to, to not win this golf tournament. 35 years ago in his first Masters. There's your champion. Fuzzy Zeller won in a playoff and no first year player has done it since. Be so happy for the young man uh, who's, who does that. It is a great feeling. Uh, sure it is somewhat of a record. Uh, he had our, our first time guy, and then we had Gino, Saracen, the old squire, and then myself. It's amazing in history how long it has taken for that to happen. Now Bubba, 232. After his 328 yard drive. <laughs> what a shot and unlucky that was a beautifully struck shot and he's still going to be taking dead aim for an eagle from there 
Spieth was short right of the green in the second cut at the par five and was surprised when the ball checked well short of the hole. When I hit it, I said sit. I thought I had flown it too far. I, I mean, I was, I was baffled by it. I really was. I thought it was a really good shot. And I ran up thinking I would see it kind of drift by it. And it was whatever, 25 feet short, which was pretty amazing to me hitting into the grain. And Bubba, the eagle chip. Pretty good. A little work to do. Speed now for par. For birdie to tie. No problem at all. A two shot swing and co leaders. Ricky Fowler trying to save par at nine. Almost get it hole high before it just turns sideways. He's got a shot here, Nick. Got a shot. Could it be for a par? <laughs> hey. He was four shots back. After a bogey at three, Bubba had answered Spieth with three birdies. From 151. Looked like he lost uh -oh. that to the right. A false oh, front. Yeah. He's going to fall victim to it. I saw it hit in the bank, thought it would climb up, and I was kind of surprised to see it come back down. Bubba for another birdie. Oh, what Here a great comes. What a great oh, beautifully gauged. Wow. Bubba Watson, the leader alone. Spieth had this for par. A great putt. I mean, the putt was super hard. Thought I made it. Eight and nine were really the turning point where it momentum kind of went my way. Although they were two two-stroke swings because Bubba played them so well, I didn't feel any rush or, or any kind of extra tension. I still felt comfortable and confident going to the back nine. Here we go. Hang on to your hats. When I got to 10 tee box, I still believed that I could win the tournament, no doubt about it. His dad, Sean, was watching every shot. And Bubba was in trouble at 10. Knew that chip was impossible, so all I was trying to do is make sure I make bogey. He did, and his lead was down to one. Kucher from the Pine Straw at 11. 244 down the hill. Oh, beautifully played. What a brilliant shot that is. Spectacular. Birdied to tie for third. The last pairing came to the 12th tee. And because of Watson's bogey at 10, Spieth had the honor. I just got a little too aggressive over the ball. When it was in the air, I thought that it was still there. I thought it was really good, actually. That was tough to swallow. Watson's tee shot was safe, and he walked Hogan's bridge while the 20-year-old went to the drop zone and left himself a putt for bogey. Oh, what a save. What a save. But again, he trailed by two. Adam Scott finished this Masters with another great putt on 18. It just didn't mean as much this time. Jonas Blixt. Third shot at 13. This is on a great line. Jonas Blix has that left to get to minus five and tie second. Bubba on the tee at 13. 
when it took off, it was cutting a little too much, uh, but I, I knew I hit it really hard. I thought that it was out of bounds, 70 yards left. And then obviously when you get a roar in your tee shot, you know it's pretty good. And so, uh, so that made that, that, I could start breathing again once I hear him clapping and roaring. He made birdie and took a three stroke lead. Miguel and Hel Jimenez at 16. Shot a second nine, 33, and finished alone in fourth place. At 18, another standing ovation for Fred Couples. Paired today with Kevin Stadler who finished tied for eighth with his dad watching his first Masters. More adventures and tee shots. Bubba Watson at 15 headed to the trees on the left. Surely Bubba is just going to punch it out here. I mean, he's got a shot. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like a punch out to me. Oh, really? No, he's looking. Well, I had 181 front, so that's all the number I was worried about. Hit a low six iron, choked up, and just cut it a little bit. What a shot to even consider that shot in the position he is in. That is remarkable. In the final holes, no one was able to put any pressure on Watson. In the pairing ahead of him, Blix missed a birdie chance at 15. Kuchar, a birdie chance at 16. And Spieth, a birdie at 15. His reaction spoke for them all. Bubba made par from over the green, and another after a solid tee shot at the par 3 16. And walked away with a three-stroke lead. At 17, Jordan almost pulled off a small miracle. That's a beautiful shot. A beautiful shot, wow. Bubba agreed and then needed to save par to keep his three-stroke advantage. Yeah. His reaction punctuated the importance of that putt. Four wood at the 18th tee. Jonas Blixt was the only player in the field to break par in all four rounds. That was a great day. Um, I learned a lot today and um, have a lot, of new, a lot more new experiences and um, can't wait to come back. Having a three-shot lead, as long as my playing partner didn't hold it from the fairway, I was, uh, I was very comfortable. I hit a good shot, attacked the pin again, as I always do, and um, hit a little nine-iron right over top of the flag. Thought it was going to be a lot better than it was, but take it, it's pretty good. The last time he walked toward a green jacket, there was a lot more stress involved. This shot out of the woods made me famous, but um, this one was a lot better for me and my nerves. Jordan Spieth tied for second place. After he putted out, Bubba turned to his caddy, Ted Scott. I said, I'm not very good at math, but we got four putts, right? <laughs> and he goes, he goes, yes. He goes, so just lag it down there. I said, it's fast? He goes, it's real fast. And I said, all right.
When he won two years ago, his newly adopted son, Caleb, was home in Florida with his wife, Angie, and Bubba couldn't wait to see him. The wait was much shorter this year. Speed went to his mom and dad. Bubba celebrated with the patrons. I was nervous, but uh, I wasn't quite, not quite as patient today as I was the first three rounds and, and holding emotions as well. I was very close. It was still the best I've ever done on a Sunday. Um, and I know it can only improve from there, and that's what's um, driving me to get back out. Billy Payne gave the low amateur trophy to Oliver Goss. Adam, I would be grateful if you would do the honor of awarding Bubba his green jacket. Bobby Jones once said, Jack Nicholas plays a kind of golf with which I'm not familiar. We wonder what he would have said to Bubba Watson. trying to play golf because I love it. I love the game. I want to grow the game. The game's bought me, brought me everything that I've, I've ever owned in my life. Um, it, my parents taught me values to the game of golf. Um, and I think what they did on Sunday was, what is again, what golf should all be about, is growing this great game, family time, seeing those family uh, members with their kids. I mean, what a joyous occasion that is and me and having the ability to do that hopefully my son can do that so I can be here on the grounds with him watching him hit and so that's really what I play the game for is this I love it it brought me so much closer to my mom and dad um, I've got a lot of friends I've traveled the world because of this game and so that's really why I play it because I love it every day it's different <laughs>